respec NBA 2K25 option for players to change attributes. Every year, NBA 2K releases a game that's unfinished. NBA 2K players purchase the new version of 2K, leaving behind all the time they invested in the previous version, losing all their progress. Wait, he said something that was really... NBA releases a game that's unfinished, and that's literally every year. You want to know why? Because they only have a year to make the game. <laughs> How much can they do different if you got to release a game every year? You're literally on a time countdown you're literally on a countdown to making a game ba 2k players purchased the new version of 2k leaving behind all the time they invested in the previous version losing all their progress losing yep. all their virtual currency yep. whether accumulated through in-game or uh -huh. even using your irl money everything mm -hmm. all your players all gone yep Is how do you feel about that gone all that money you just put into any hope to retain our progression for a 2k25 that's what we finna get into if any of you guys are new here drop a like drop a sub let's get to the video all right so nba 2k every year they drop a game that's not fully complete and this forces 2k to drop patches throughout the year nba 2k players they get the game they create a new build and because of the game's design most players they'd prefer to just spend some additional money to help increase the attributes for their created my player but as is oftentimes the case with each individual patch that 2k drops it changes the gameplay with and it does i mean it's like a total different game and when it becomes that total different game at the start it's always really good and then once they keep patching and fixing and trying to fix it becomes really bad which in turn either mitigates or increases the effectiveness of our my player more times than not a lot of our my players that we create prior to a patch are rendered less effective than they were before the patch has this happened to any of you guys if any of you guys could take your best guess what do you think would be a good solution a fair compromise for players to make adjustments to the build considering the gameplay has changed significantly and for 2k to even take this into consideration 2k being money hungry a fair compromise would have to offer 2k something in return 2k currently having the player base in a chokehold in-game transactions currently add up to about 80 percent of 2k's revenue in other words there needs to be a good reason for them to even consider a compromise um they're never going to compromise ever I mean, that's just the way it is. And and let's we, we have to get over the VC statement, guys. That, that That is never going away. They're never going to make it cheaper. If anything, they might stay at a price where it is right now or it's going to go up. It's either going to stay where it's at or it's going to get more expensive. Either one. They're, they're, they're not lowering their prices ever. So we need to stop trying to fix VC prices. It, it won't happen. What they need to do is implement some stuff into the game to where you don't spend that much VC, right? You can start off with that. The most important thing is gameplay. We're talking about giving 2K players options to keep up with all of the changes coming from patches throughout an annual cycle of 2K. Over the past few years, players have had to dish out even more money to create new player builds just to be able to compete and keep up with all the gameplay adjustments. Because your game costs so much and builds cost so much to create these patches that y'all drop i don't know if it seems like it's malicious because the version of the game we got at launch of nba 2k24 was not the version we got at the end of the year so the bills that were relevant at the beginning of the year was not as relevant at the end of the year that's a huge issue without giving us the ability to respect our bill meaning the ability to remove attributes and somewhat recreate or redesign your build based on the latest update that's a huge issue which means if you're going down this route you gotta get your sh together at the beginning of the year the ability to respect our bill allowing us to reallocate our attributes to keep up with gameplay changes that are made through in-game patches now i want to address this because i know a lot of you guys are going to reference this in the comments section a lot of the changes that are made to 2k throughout an annual cycle those are made to address community concerns but which side of the community is 2k making these changes for surely 2k can't keep everybody happy so why make any changes in the first place if the game was complete on release day 2k proud of the game they developed also considering they're an annually cycled game you would think 2K would leave any necessary changes for the next version of 2K. But instead, we receive anywhere from 10 to 20 patches throughout an annual cycle. And every time 2K releases a patch update, I am certain that leads to a surge and increase in revenue as tons of NBA 2K players dish out more money setting out to create new builds. So I ask you guys, how do 
anywhere from 10 to 20 patches throughout an annual behind the back and every tween, time 2k behind the back patch update i am certain that leads to a surge you go left he's, he's doing left right tons of nba 2k players but he's doing like money setting out moves with to it create new builds so i ask you guys how likely is it that 2k will offer 2k players the option to reallocate attributes on their builds this option will most certainly hurt 2k's bottom line as 2k generates a ton of money just getting players to create new builds so here's my proposal here's what i propose to 2k because 2k doesn't like the idea of a complete respec option understanding that if players are able to reallocate attributes on their build the necessity to create brand new builds it becomes unnecessary in turn 2k they lose out on a lot of money that they would otherwise receive so i say 2k throw us a bone a fair compromise between no dude there's not gonna be no bones thrown to us what's the point what's the point of them throwing a bone to us they don't see why because you're gonna spend the money anyways it doesn't matter so why should i throw a bone when i know you're gonna give me what i want <laughs> you get what i'm saying for what reason there's no errors there's no mess ups there's they're a billion dollar company and if you're a billion dollar company then you're doing pretty good so you gotta stop man you gotta stop with this vc stuff the players who are dissatisfied with 2k's current builder system and still allow 2k to generate a profit or for players making builds i say give players the option to at the very least adjust and reallocate 10 attributes on their builds oh god you wish in your dreams there's no way that would ever happen and they're not gonna take your idea because it just beats the purpose of somebody creating a new build it's it, this is a terrible idea terrible hey hey no for you for, for us it's great for us it's amazing yes that's a that's a great thing that's not throwing a bone that's like throwing a whole steak <laughs> you know what i'm saying maybe charge 2k players a reallocation fee whether that be through each individual attribute reallocation or through category attribute reallocation oftentimes players just need to reallocate or readjust just a few attributes and they just don't want to go through the process of spending so much more money oftentimes considering having to grind again that alone is off-putting to 2k players they don't think it's off-putting because you you have a point guard build right yeah and you have to start all over to make another uh player they're thinking about yeah if you want to make another player make a power forward make a center make a small forward make sure guard there's five different positions you can make from so if you really think about it you creating another build of your same position you're the one that's losing hey i i don't like 2k just as much as you guys man the only thing i care about is the gameplay just make the game fun although i don't like the idea of charging players just to make some slight adjustments to their player build all things considered i think it's a fair compromise an example i would like to provide you guys is in nba 2k24 i had no idea that the tracy mcgrady jump shot was gonna be so good when creating my first build i was one attribute off from meeting the threshold to get the tracy mcgrady jump shot and this year i refused to make a new build just to change one attribute point De definitely curious to hear your thoughts so share them in the comment section below now out of pure curiosity do any of you guys believe that 2k is aware that the community would like this option to reallocate attributes on their build do you guys think 2k has ever even acknowledged this idea here's what ronnie 2k had to say on this topic what are you guys talking about if i lied i didn't lie about anything you guys keep saying respect respect my understanding is that you can completely rebuild your guy from scratch and use the v, you know vc that you had used to build your guy originally what the heck? what did i just say what did i just say this is exactly what i'm saying this is exactly what i'm saying dude it's not uh, you're not gonna get them to respect there's no way why would they exactly make a new guy make make there's five different positions positions to choose from make a new character that's what they're gonna tell you to do they're not gonna tell you to uh, uh yeah sure yeah respect so we can lose money what 2k wins and you lose that's how it's supposed to go if i lie don't you guys think I would actually not be able to have a job? It's hilarious. I was very clear about what I said, but it's okay. You guys, you guys know better than I do. People are talking about lowering VC prices. Um, remember, guys, that like uh, the cash I talked about this earlier. You can respec all your builds. So like, if you don't want to build 17 my players, you don't have to. You can respec them. So that that'll save you VC right there. That'll save you VC right there. Ronnie 2K, the face of the 2K franchise, acknowledging that the player base is unhappy with virtual currency prices on the game.
Oh, obviously. I mean, that's what everybody's complaining about. It was it was in New York Times. It was a it was a thing that everybody knows. It, it's not it's not a secret. The game is flat out just too expensive. Ronnie 2K in an attempt to sell more copies of 2K prior to release flat out lies to 2K players telling them that they'd all have an option to reallocate attributes on their bill. Ronnie 2K speaking on this topic was released years ago. Needless to say, none of this has come to fruition on 2K. If 2K of course not. They're just marketing geniuses. That's all it is. And they just get you to buy their product. They had this aggressive monetization model incorporated into gameplay when I was younger. I just wouldn't have been able to afford it. Asking my parents for 70 to $150 just to buy the game and then asking them yet again for an additional $100 to create a new build, trying to get more money throughout the year as I would want to create more than one bill. In my household, it wasn't even a possibility. I would wasn't in minds either, but I mean, there's a lot of households that would. Uh, that, uh, that's why they raise their prices every year because it's they could. It's working. It's not like it's not working. There's no reason to even complain about it. What you guys need to complain complain about is the gameplay. The gameplay is horrendous. I would have never gotten an opportunity to even experience 2K. Three hundred fifteen dollars for an Xbox game. This is three hundred and fifteen dollars. <laughs> Exactly. See, look, look, this is what I'm saying right here. $315. If my son did this, I'm whooping his ass. What in the hell is this? Exactly. Our kids' spending is out of control. Boy, what did you spend $315 on? It's my NBA game. I bought virtual clothes for my virtual players. <laughs> and you're about to get a virtual ass whooping. You know, that's right. Ain't no way we were spending that type of money on a video game. Fast forward to present day on 2K, this has all become the new norm. As always, I'm curious to hear your feedback on this topic. Sound off in the comment section below. If any of you guys are new here, drop a like and a sub. Um, It is the new norm. Uh, I mean, it's not even new at this point. It's It's been the norm and it, there's just no fixing it. Um, we need to stop complaining about VC and start to complain about gameplay. Guys, you got you got you guys no, like nobody's understanding that if the gameplay is really, really, really good, then it's worth it to get all that stuff to spend all that money on VC. The reason why people are complaining on VC is because you're not really enjoying the game because your build sucks and you want to make another build or you're tired of that build. Yeah, you got my I got my point guard build. I bring him out whatever I want. I want to bring out my power four build. You know what? I'm going to grind for that power four build because the game is fun. The game is fun. The game has not been fun. Really think about it. The game has not been fun. So that means if the game was fun, nobody wouldn't be complaining about VC is all I'm saying.